Well, after 15 months in jail, former Metro Police Officer Andrew Delkey is a free man. He walked out of the downtown detention center this morning under his own power and got into a car waiting on the curb. Delkey pleaded guilty to shooting and killing Daniel Hambrick in June of 2018, just weeks before his murder trial was set to start. He took a plea deal for a lesser charge. Delkey was convicted of voluntary manslaughter in the death of the 25-year-old black man in July of last year. He shot Hambrick three times during a foot chase in North Nashville, captured on surveillance video as well. The Nashville District Attorney would later say in the courtroom, Hambrick never broke stride as Delkey shot him. Delkey's plea deal was not well received. He apologized in the courtroom to Hambrick's family, but Hambrick's mother was overcome with emotion as she faced the former officer in court. I hate you! I don't accept your apology! Well, his mother ended up lunging at the district attorney's table, even hitting a court officer as the family yelled that they did not get a chance. The courtroom was cleared after the outbreak, but soon court reconvened and the judge accepted the plea deal. Hearing about Delkey's release today has shocked members of Hambrick's family and the local chapter of the NAACP. Kenley Hargett joins us live outside of the downtown detention center. Kenley, there's been some outrage tonight. What have you heard? Yes, Alex, there's a lot of outrage, and the NAACP is calling his release an entire trial a complete discount for the life of Daniel Hambrick, and that justice isn't blind. Unfair is not even, I guess, the best description. It was just unjust. Strong emotions after the release of Delkey, not even a year and a half after a sentence for the death of 25-year-old Daniel Hambrick. You cannot help but have your heart to bleed for his mother and for his entire family for what they are having to endure simply because this officer's life is being viewed as more important than the young man, Mr. Daniel Hambrick. Delkey's scheduled release from the downtown detention center was for January 2023. During the plea deal that gave Delkey three years incarceration, he admitted his responsibility in taking Hambrick's life from his family and said that not a day goes by without him thinking about these actions. NAACP President Cheryl Gwynn says his plea deal should have never happened, and now is an important time to think about who you vote for in the upcoming election. Your vote matters. We have two elected officials that failed us in this situation. And now we have a person who is a coward and a murderer who is free after little, serving little more than a, a year for murdering someone un, who was unarmed. Now, I did speak to Daniel Hambrick's aunt today, and she said she didn't want to make a formal statement until she could get in contact with his mother. And she told me that she did not know that Delkey would be released today. Reporting live here in Nashville, Kenley Hargett, News 2. Kenley, thank you. The state tells us Delkey received 616 sentence credits while in jail. 512 were program credits and 104 were for good behavior. Well, Delkey's attorney wouldn't speak to us on camera, but did give us a statement over the phone saying Delkey appreciates the strong support he received from the Fraternal Order of Police and Citizens. And for continuing coverage of Andrew 